Whether feature-length films or full-fledged TV shows, we all know live-action anime adaptations have a bad reputation for always disappointing. They're down there with video game movies. It's that bad. And we get it, it's not easy pleasing an established fan base, but there are a few who manage to do it, so not all hope is lost. Today we'll list 10 live-action anime adaptations that don't deserve your hate. First up at number 10, we've got Blade of the Immortal. This 2008 anime series had us all hooked, and we all loved watching Manji fighting a Away his curse of immortality with his sword. Everything about the anime was great. Naturally, when this live action was first announced, no one was really a fan of the idea. Look, here comes another filmmaker destroying our childhood. It was only when the people involved were revealed that we gained hope. On one side, we had Japan's most iconic actor, Takeyuma Kimura, someone very familiar with how anime works, considering his previous voice acting roles in popular anime movies like Howl's Moving Castle. He was an instant hit with the fans. And on the other side, there's Japan's most extreme director, Takashi Mike him serve as one of the creatives in a film that's centered around murder? Sign us up. In an interesting twist, this live action ended up being better than the original itself. The 2008 version did suffer from a lack of character development, not to mention just how incredibly slow-paced it was. The story had a lot of potential, but we think the film version lives up to that more than the anime ever did. What's more, we've also got way more exhilarating fight sequences that kept us at the edge of our seats. Next at number 9, we have 2010's adaptation of From Me to You. When we think of anime rom-coms, our minds instantly jumped to 2009's show From Me to You. We all fell in love with Sawako, a seemingly timid high school student who happens to bear a powerful resemblance to Sadako, who, if you don't know, is one of the most horrifying characters in Japanese pop culture. Naturally, no one really likes her. The anime focused on her going from unpopular to popular as she befriends the outgoing and extroverted Shouta, who's always been the diamond in her class. This live-action adaptation came right after the anime, quite literally. It only took a year. On the surface level, this new film may look just like another rom-com with a cliche and overused storyline that looks can be misleading. And while we don't completely deny that, we think both versions are important in voicing out the difficulties introverts face during simple social interactions. But more than being a voice for introverts, it's also a lesson. The story gives many suggestions on how to break out of your shell and on the importance of friendship. This is as wholesome as it gets. Coming up at number 8 is My Love Story. This wholesome rom-com had all of us hooked. The anime version by Madhouse aired from April to September 2015, and it was just the perfect combination of love and laughter. If you found that cute, we're sure you'll fall in love with this excellent live-action adaptation. Now, we all know that casting is one of the most important things to do when making any live-action. These are characters that already exist in fans' minds. You don't want to give them someone they can't see as Takayo or Rinko now, can you? Well, unlike most live-action anime adaptations we've seen, My Love Story has a really convincing cast that made all of us fall in love with these characters all over again. Releasing just a month after the original anime ended wasn't going to be an easy hill to climb. The anime was already fresh in fans' minds and one wrong step could ruin everything, but none of that happened. The story may be cliche, but My Love Story is a beautiful feel-good movie that'll make you laugh, cry, and a bit angry too. The live action is full of adorable will-they-or-won't-they scenarios, so if you're into this, you might want to check it out. Moving on at number 7, we have Gintama. You can ask any Gintama fan about the synopsis of the anime, they'll give you the standard response that you typically expect to hear from people in long-distance relationships. Relationships. It's complicated. To be honest, this Shonen parody series is way more complicated than any long-distance relationship you've ever been in. It goes across every genre we've ever heard of, from action-adventure to romance. Gintama has also gained a very prominent fan base since its release in 2005. Naturally, the live-action series had a lot to live up to. If you've been one of the hardcore fans of this show, we get why you would have been skeptical of the live-action. First of all, it's a live-action. When are those ever good? What's more, we saw some questionable casting choices as well, but surprisingly enough, we think the live action stays faithful to the 2005 anime. The cast may have looked questionable, but how they portrayed these beloved characters certainly didn't disappoint, and the plot is as crazy as ever. Now, make way for Nana at number 6. Anime about love and friendship is always at the top of our list. This cute anime showed us the friendship between two girls with the same names. On one side, we have your typical cheery person who wants nothing more than to fall in love. The other one is quite her opposite, a vocalist of a punk rock band. We see these two characters form a close bond as they chase their dreams in the lively city of Tokyo. The film version of this anime also remained pretty true to the original material. The foreground was the female sentiment, a refreshing thing to see in anime adaptations. But what really blew us away was the music. Casting popular Japanese singer Mika Nakashima as Nana Osaki was a big win for the film, as it gave us some of the best music performances in cinematic history. If you ask us, it's one of the greatest live-action films ever made. At number 5, let's take a look at the Roroni Kenshin film series. Everyone's heard of Samurai X, 
you've heard of it, your friends have heard of it, their families have heard of it. Rurouni Kenshin or Samurai X is one of the most watched samurai anime of all time. Taking place during the Meiji period in Japan, the story shows his former assassin Himura Kenshin who's putting his gruesome past behind him and settling down in the countryside. He offers protection for the weak and needy instead, but as fate would have it, the swordsman past doesn't exactly leave him alone. Rurouni Kenshin's film series takes those intense fight sequences to an entirely new level as it shows off realistic sword fight sequences in all their glory. We also see something that's not generally seen in anime, realistic human development. Up next at number 4 is Kingdom's 2019 adaptation. This movie is the perfect recipe for any good action blockbuster. Kingdom is a martial arts epic that takes place during China's Warring States period. The war orphan slave Shen wants to achieve many things and we're taken on an amazing journey into his life. While the original anime series is currently in its fourth season, we still recommend that everyone watch this movie before getting into it. It's a simple gateway for newcomers to the universe of this historical anime. Even if you're a fan of the original series, you'll love this film for highlighting all your favorite moments from the anime. Now for the big one at number three, Death Note. Sure, the viewer reactions towards Netflix's anime remake have been pretty mixed, but we'll still say Death Note manages to stay true to its source while also giving us a few new twists that only make the story more exciting. Light Yagami's journey with the mysterious notebook titled Death Note is a treat to watch for any hardcore anime fan. By comparison, the Japanese live-action adaptation has a much lower budget, but it still manages to live up to fans' expectations with its sinister atmosphere and the excellent Shingami Ria character design. The cat and mouse game between Yagami and the detectives keeps the suspense going and his fans and critics equally impressed. There's a reason why this movie got a sequel too, you know, that too, in the same year. Next at number two is From Today, It's My Turn. Anime fans are no stranger to Japan's love for obscure and uncanny, but these elements rarely translate well into the screen. There's one notable exception though, From Today, It's My Turn. The live action drama series from 2018 picks on the strengths of the original anime series, showing how two transfer students reinvent their images to become popular in their new school. The story's got it all, from fighting injustice to falling in love, and the film manages to excel in every department. Not only is it close to the OG source, but it's also very tasteful. Finally, it's time for number one, Bunny Drop. Better keep some tissues at hand because this wholesome family drama will make you cry. Bunny Drop's anime version tackles the complex issues of raising a child alone as a 30-year-old male bachelor decides to raise his deceased grandfather's illegitimate daughter, Ren. It's full of funny and teary moments and will leave you with a warm, fuzzy feeling. Now imagine all that in live action. Who wouldn't want to watch it? That's a wrap for this video. Which of these adaptations is your favorite? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.